My wife always wants to go away for Christmas, right? Last Christmas, she wanted to do Disneyland Paris. Has anyone been there? Yeah. Yeah. I liked it. I found it difficult to engage with it fully because it was so expensive. It's very difficult to fully enjoy it when you know how much you've paid to get your family in there. Like, my kids were walking around just like all the visions of Christmassy Disney, and I just had, in my eyes, the invoice. Do you know what I mean? I was just... <laughs> For me, Disneyland Paris is basically like a three-day angry walk. Do you know what I mean? Just wandering around, <laughs> going, fuck off, Donald. Do you know what I mean? just, <laughs> just furious, so angry. It's the first time I really thought about learning another language, right? Because they all speak French, obviously. We're in France. I'm not so post-Brexit that they can't speak their own language in their own country. <laughs> but I'm a very paranoid dude. We're queuing up for the Tower of Terror with my eldest son. Just about to get on the ride, the guy behind the counter turns to his mate and goes, I was thinking, what the shit did that dude just say, man? <laughs> and in my head, I'm thinking he must have gone, I think the roller coaster is broken. Let's just try that one more time on this prick and his son. <laughs> he probably just said, I fancy a sandwich. I, I don't know, but I'm very. <laughs> The kids were very excited, right? They're excited because how it works is you pay a lot of money to get in so that you can access some shops where you spend some more money, right? That's how it works. <laughs> the kids are like, <laughs> we're going to buy loads of stuff. I said, no, no, you're not, mate. You're allowed one present each, yeah? Because daddy has been fisted by Mickey here, right? So <laughs> you get one present each, all right? No messing about. The little one, well, the thing is, I actually made an extra saving because I've got a seven year old, a five year old, and a two year old. The two year old doesn't know what's going on, so sack him off. Jimmy, I, I, just, gave him, I just gave him a croissant we got free at the hotel. There you go. Now. <laughs> thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, enjoy, dickhead. But... <laughs> the eldest one, he chose. Uh... He chose a Jedi cloak with Mickey. He's into Star Wars. I mean, not properly. He doesn't know the mythology properly, but he, he is into Star Wars. Right? He chose a Jedi cloak with Mickey ears on it, right? Now, immediately, I can feel tension in here. <laughs> he was wearing it around the house. One of my mates went, It's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's exactly why I didn't want them taking over Star Wars, because of things like this. I was thinking, what is your problem, dude? What are you concerned about? Are you worried that Star Wars is going to become commercial? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Were you watching Jar Jar Binks and thinking, no, this is still cutting edge? And it was <laughs> the Mickey ears that pushed you over. Was it really? My, my second son, he chose, uh, he chose a, a radio-controlled car. Fine. Get back to England. So frustrating how shit this kid is at driving the car, man. Like, <laughs> he's knocking into coffee tables, he's hitting my ankles, he's hitting the skirt. But I said to him, dude, a kid of your age, Made that. 